FNAF games have always been hard. But the modern games have a different kind of difficulty. Help Wanted's difficulty comes from how long you can withstand motion sickness before requiring a hurl bag. Security Breach's difficulty comes from knowing which buttons on your controller not to press because they will cause the game to literally explode. And FNAF AR's difficulty comes from how it makes you question your humanity due to how bad the game is. But the old school FNAF games do truly require skill. Skill that nowadays I somewhat lack. I can still beat all these games fairly easily, but today, I wanted to try to truly master the first four games in this franchise. So, here are the rules. I am going to attempt to beat every game 100%. All five knights, all bonus knights, and all stars. And yes, it's going to suck. So without further ado, FNAF 1. After suffering through the first four knights, FNAF 1 finally becomes interesting. On the last standard night of the game. Uh, I'm actually gonna start playing the video game now. Let's see if Ben gets to live. <laughs> Don't make me do that again. Uh-oh. Freddy, no. <sighs> okay. Thank God. After beating Night 5, I moved on to Night 6. This is where the challenge truly began. Guys, let's have a chat about this. You can't just hog the doors. Bonnie! Fuck off! Really? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I need to be confident that I'm keeping Foxy on guard, or whatever you want to call it, so that I can just check him once an hour, and pray that he is doing well, doing fine, just fine. Okay, Foxy's still in jail. Bonnie, I hope you're ready to entangle with my fist if you don't get the fuck away from my door. You are about to write a book about the FNAF story. Okay, so here's some tips. Balloon Boy is the antagonist. Uh, William Afton does not exist. He's actually just a six foot tall balloon boy. That is the actual story of FNAF. Oh, fuck off! <sighs> and like Foxy, like jumping out at him. That would make more sense. Oh, speaking of Foxy jumping out. Well, I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, Bonnie's jamming the door. But as long as the power cuts out, we're fine. Come on. All right. Oh, fuck off, Freddy! Why was he just there? I played so well! <gasps> -hoo -hoo! Ignore the monkey noises! Never mind, Freddy, I love you! That's Night 6! <laughs> With Night 6 defeated, I decided to move on to the main event. I will give this some goes. I make no promises. Foxy, you need to fucking relax, my guy. It is 1 a.m. and I'm at 50%. <laughs> nope, I'm dead. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Don't be sloppy. Oh, wait. No, fuck. I'm stupid. <sighs> I really don't want to deal with Freddy Fast Bear shoving a tombstone up my ass. Fuck. <sighs> Freddy... Freddy, my friend. Freddy, my boy. Freddy, my go fuck yourself. Yeah, I gave up after a few attempts, but day two would prove to be much more productive. Day two started off with me trying the exact same strat as day one and suffering because of it. Oh, I let Freddy in because I'm an idiot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I way messed up the cycle there. Luckily, a lovely chat member by the name of Moxie the Fox 999 taught me how to not be an idiot and do something else instead. So you check light, check cam, check light, check cam, and just alternate that? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem that bad. Okay. I'm gonna need to practice this pattern. Left. Right. I feel like an idiot, but this is actually working. You are right. Okay, I screwed up the pattern there. Left. Right. But this is certainly... Mmm. Mmm. I am alive, and I disagree. <laughs> really, Bonnie? How is Bonnie just there? Well, we made it to 4 a.m. That was my goal. We can do this. Left. Right. We don't talk about that. You know what? No. I'm going to sit here with this door closed till the end of the night. Is that a good idea? I'm scared. Okay, we're going to learn out of power. Freddy, no. I might have thrown right at the end. I did. That is so sad. Damn it. 
Have you guys ever noticed how weird this layout is? Like, F Freddy's over here, and then Chica has his shoulder. Left. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Honestly, I'm thinking that checking Foxy at all might just be kind of a fool's errand. I think I just need to be confident in my ability to block him. Left. I thought I was dead there. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Fuck me. Right. Right. Fuck off. Right. Come on. Right. Left. Please. Come on. Please. Come on, I have to be like 10 seconds. <gasps> Let's fuck! <laughs> God, that strat is so much easier! Thank you! Look at that! All three stars. With that new strategy, I managed to beat 420 mode in under 10 attempts. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Right. Also, you probably noticed my incredible left. commentary of just saying left right. and right, over and over left. and over. I edited most of it out, right. but the people who watched live had to listen to left. all of it, and I think it made them lose right. their minds. To the point where another lovely chat member, by the left. name of JustinS06, made a remix right. of all the lefts and rights. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. The full remix is pinned in our Discord if you want to listen to the full thing. Anyways, on to FNAF 2. FNAF 2 is harder than FNAF 1. My ego learned this the hard way. Now we actually have to deal with, uh, these bitches. <coughs> it's Withered Bonnie! Toilet Bonnie in the flesh! Oh, it's Foxy. That fucking Freddy has always been so cool to me. He just looks cool. Oh, Freddy's gone. Oh, there he is. I love that Freddy, too. Withered Freddy in this game just looks awesome. Oh, Jesus, hi, Chica. <laughs> That actually startled me. I... I was trying to put the mask on. I died on night three in FNAF 2. God damn you! Sup, bitch! Come on. I have to be almost done. Thank you. Balloon boy, what did I say? Look at this motherfucker. I hate you. I hate you so much. Alright. Let's beat FNAF 2 and not fuck it up. Let's go. Sad. It's toilet body. I nearly died. Uh, oh, well, I'm just gonna wind this box and pray I don't die. Mango, fuck off. Wither Chica, fuck off. Let me flash my light down the hallway. Uh oh. Oh, I let Mang. Nope. Jesus, Toy Freddy. Fucking take a chill pill. Toy Freddy out here speed running my execution by the state. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's Gangster Freddy. <laughs> Freddy looks like he's, like, posing for a movie poster. Like, look at him. He looks like he's, like, rolled right out of hell to come and kick your shit in. Oh, fuck. Ah! Fredward is coming closer. No! Ah! Oh, my wrist just crunched. Ow. It's Fredward. Fredward Kennedy. I don't know why you called him Fredward Kennedy. No! No! Let's try to put the mask on! Fuck you, Fredward Kennedy! Why am I so bad? Oh wait, Golden Freddy is in Chica. What the fuck? Right there. That's the Golden Freddy Easter egg. Yeah, see? Jesus. Guys, kindly fuck off. Jesus Christ! Guys, it's night five, not night seven. Relax. Come on, it's 5 a.m. My flashlight's almost dead. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Just 6 a.m. For the love of God. Yes! Yeah, getting past night five was genuinely a struggle. Hell, getting to Night 5 was a struggle, but 
I did it, and the first star was mine. So after getting mad humbled by Night 5, I was a bit worried going into Night 6. And yep, it also didn't go well. Alright, let's do Night 6. The Golden Freddy. That's our first Golden Freddy. Jesus Christ. Let me flash down the hall and wind my box. No, wait. No. No! Bastard! Bastard! Let's go again. Chica! Ah! Chica? You're not killing me this time, bitch. Jesus Christ, Freddy. <laughs> no! Fuck you. God, that was a good attempt. I just... Uh... I love how he just says good luck. Because, like... <laughs> We're gonna need it. Fuck you! Jesus! <laughs> Bonnie, fuck off. Okay, I need to get a light down that hall. Damn it! I was trying, Foxy! There was nothing I could do! I was getting fucking bullied! <laughs> there is, like, numbers you're supposed to count for, like, the- <laughs> Bitch! Absolute bitch! Buffoon! Buffoon of a bitching bitch child bitch balloon bitch bitch! I hate him! I hate him so much! He is the worst part of this franchise! And this franchise includes fucking Liberty Chica! No! Ah! Uh, balloon boy! Balloon bastard! Ah! Pain and suffering, the likes of which humanity has never seen. God, I hate that fucking child. Worst. Worst. That's all he is. He's just the worst. Oh, I nearly died. Not at 5 a.m., bitch. Not at 5 a.m. Not at 5 a.m., motherfucker. Not at 5 a.m., motherfucker. Yes! Let's go! They tried so hard to fuck me up at the end. It took me roughly the same amount of time to beat Knights 5 and 6 in FNAF 2 as 420 mode took in FNAF 1. My ego is still recovering from this performance. I did try to go right into 1020 mode after beating Knight 6, and yeah, I got murdered. But this is where my stupid game knowledge of this game comes into play. Okay, well, we can get... Let's get all three stars today. Because you still do get the third star for beating 2020-2020 mode. Even though it's not Golden Freddy. So this mode still counts. Technically. Also, I guess if it's just the Withereds, I don't actually need to check the sidelights. God, once you get rid of all the other toy bastards, uh, FNAF 2 just really is this, huh? Like, the only ones I- No! No! No, I got distracted! No! It was like 5 a.m. Yes! Let's go. Okay, so that should actually be all three stars, even though it's not really the way I want to get all three stars. Also, we're fired. So yeah, I did get all three stars. Not in the way I wanted to, but I just couldn't beat 1020 mode. I still do plan on beating it in my own time, but for now, let's move on to FNAF 3. FNAF 3 is a bit different compared to the other games in terms of becoming an all-star. Sing Smash Mouth in the comments and I will find you. To get all the stars in FNAF 3, you need to beat the game, get the secret ending, beat Nightmare Mode, and beat Aggressive Nightmare Mode. The first two stars were easy. I just played some minigames and gaslit an old man stuck in a fursuit for a collective 30 hours. And half the stars were mine. Then, it was time to move on to the actual challenging parts of this game. The Nightmare and Aggressive Nightmare Modes. Um, where'd he go? How? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Jesus, we got him to Cam 8. I really don't like using Cam 8 because of the puppet, but uh, I guess we do what we have to do to uh, live. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, I think we just need to reboot all. <laughs> oh, shit, he's in Cam 2. Uh, I think we're kind of fucked here, unless we can go speed... <laughs> There's this goofy-ass walk. I'm gonna hit Cam 1, Cam 2, and pray. Nope. <laughs> cam 10 is sealed, so he can't get directly into my office. So if he gets near the window, I can just stare him down, and I'm fine. Come on. We can do this. <sighs> Let's go! 
That's nightmare mode. That's night six. Nightmare mode wasn't all that bad, and I was feeling fairly confident going into aggressive nightmare. This is when I learned something very important. Confidence and ego are two things banned at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, because I proceeded to have my shit kicked in by Springtrap for many, many hours. Piss, I've already lost them. I'm gonna hit cam two. That's a problem. Wait, what? Really? He was right there? I'm so dead. Really, Balloon Boy? <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, I wonder if I'm dead, guys. Let's play a funny game. I actually survived longer than I thought I would there. Oh, piss. That's not good. Fuck you. Why are you always in cam one? You bastard. Fucking balloon boy, man. Okay, let's go again. Springtrap, can you do what I say for the love of God? Did he get to cam 10? What a guy. I hit reboot all. I was trying to hit exit. Fuck. Damn it, this was a good attempt. I think there's someone at the door. I thought I heard vent noises. I feel as though I might already be dead. He was in the cam 2 vent. Fuck. That's a problem. Fuck it, I'm rebooting all. Let's, let's play a fun game of how I live. The day is going good. I'm getting my ass kicked by a dead serial killer stuck in a bunny suit, so you know. Hello. No, I just missed them! Balloon Boy, why are you always in Cam 1? <sighs> I swear to God, Balloon Boy lives in Night 1. He has like a nice vacation villa. <sighs> what a guy. What if I just boop you? What if I just stare into your eyes loving like- Oh, hi Freddy. Oh, hi Springtrap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I say pardon? What? Qua? Qu'est-ce que c'est ça, stupid lapin? Sorry, when I when I get angry at things, I start speaking French. Uh, <laughs> that whistle? Oh! Okay, yeah, Phantom Foxy died. Okay, that whistling means he's in Cam 5. What? I call bullshit. I couldn't see Balloon Boy because of the static. I call rigged. I call rigged! Rigged, I say! Rigged! <laughs> Balloon Boy is the mo most puntable object ever created. Hello. Fuck! Come on! I was as fast as I could be! Balloon Boy, get out of your fucking holiday villa! Why do you live in Cam 1? Uh... Eventually, I just gave up. However, after a bit of googling, I learned something very interesting. There was another way to beat him. A way that was slightly more... dishonest. Springtrap, I swear to god, I will rip your bunny testicles off and shove them down your ears. So help me, god, let me- Yes! Why do I feel so good about a cheated victory? By performing a one frame flip every eight seconds, you can stop the ventilation from failing, preventing Springtrap from ever being able to kill you. And with that, FNAF 3 was conquered. But my ego is still going to be broken for a very long time. Moving on from my hollow, ego-crushing victory at the hands of a pissed-off furry, it was time to rebuild my ego with FNAF 4. This was actually the game I was most worried about, because it was the one I knew the least about in terms of how it worked. But after getting past night one, something happened. And that something is called skill. I caught Plush Trap on the X and moved right on to night two, easily defeating the asthmatic animatronics. Nights 3 and 4 went much the same, with my skill being so intimidating to the Nightmare animatronics that the first time Foxy spawned was 4am on night 4. These bastards knew to fear me. I was unstoppable. Yeah, until I got my shit kicked in by a giant teddy bear. After beating night 4, I was given an omen. For the first time, I failed to catch the marketable version of a child serial killer on the spot. Meaning, for night 5, I wouldn't have the benefits of skipping to 2am. I had to survive all 6 hours with Nightmare Fredbear himself. That's bad. I really kind of needed those two hours. Oh god, already? Where is he? Jesus! Okay, he just stopped making footstep sounds. Fuck off. You might be dressed incredibly, but fuck off. Left. Right. Oh god, not this again. Right? 
It's time for the return of the lefts and rights. Okay, what the fuck? Left. That still sounded like left. That was right. Left? Yeah, left. <laughs> left, right, left, right. We're doing this again. I did not hear him go to the right. That's odd. Okay, it said ignore laughing if it's with footsteps. Okay, that was wrong advice from Reddit. Why is he nowhere? Why was he nowhere? He should be here. He is. Okay. Thank you. What the fuck? No! I had the door shut! <sighs> fuck you, Fredbear. Fuck you, Fredbear. God. What? Okay. Did I not check every spot that he could be? Did I not? Is there a way to stare at the ceiling? Is he hanging off the goddamn ceiling fan? Where the fuck was he? Was he on a vacation to the Bahamas, by chance? And the fact that he didn't invite me, first off, I'm mad because he killed me randomly, and second off, I'm offended because I thought we were friends. Fred Bear is a cunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it kinda is, honestly. Left. Let's go! Oh, God, I have not focused like that in a while in a game. Jesus. It did take a few more attempts than I was hoping, but I did manage to beat the big boy. And with that, I moved right on to night six. How does this work? I keep hearing Foxy's pitter-patter footsteps, and I'm getting PTSD from night five. 100%, it was Balloon Boy who did the bite of 87. You can't convince me otherwise. Hiya! Yeah. Jesus, that's loud. I feel as though death may be imminent. Oh wait, it's Fredbear? Fuck, I'm dead. <sighs> I'm not dead. First try, motherfucker! <sighs> first try, Night 6, let's go. Honestly, beating Night 6 first try when I haven't really touched this game in years? I'm pretty damn proud of that. With my ego reinflated after the bullshit bear incident of 2023, I moved right on to Night 7. I had already defeated Nightmare Fredbear. It was time to tangle with Nightmare. 4M. Right. Left. Right. Nope, fuck, I'm dead. No! He laughed with footsteps! With FNAF 1? As long as you have three brain cells to rub together, you should never die until, like, night five. Speaking of never dying, I heard breathing, and I just kind of forgot to listen to footsteps, so I don't have three brain cells to rub together. That was my first death to a standard animatronic. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit the bed, then I'm gonna hit Bonnie. Nope, I'm gonna hit Bonnie. <laughs> well, Bonnie's gonna hit me. Okay, those are the children. Oh, shit. Right? Left. Bitch. Right. Left. <gasps> fuck yeah! Oh, fuck you. Hey guys, look. It's some bullshit. Nightmare mode was definitely a step up over the previous modes. I mean, it marked the first time I died to anyone other than the Nightmare Bears, but still, it wasn't that bad. But then, it was time to face the inevitable. The returning 2020-2020 mode. Here's how that went. This is gonna, this is gonna go. Not well, but it is gonna go. We just gotta be quick. Jesus! I heard no breathing. It's 4am. That was right. Left. What? Huh? Jesus, Bonnie. Why are you being so active? Uh-oh. Were you not gone? Oh, fuck you. Really? Already with this shit? Jesus. Damn it. Also, people said if, you, if Nightmare Foxy gets in, you might as well close the game and restart, and I really don't know what they're talking about. Foxy is annoying, but he's really not that bad. Really, Foxy? I know I just said you're not that bad, but you're still annoying. I need to actually focus. Two, three, four, five, six, 
Frettles. Chica. Bed, then Bonnie. Two. Four. A. Fuck you. With that, I had defeated FNAF 4. Yes, there are other challenges in this game, but for now, I think I'm good calling it here. I beat all the challenges that were in the game at launch, and in my opinion, all the other stuff is just leftovers from the Halloween update. Well, I did accomplish my goal. I wanted to get all the stars in the first four FNAF games. So, if you squint a bit, I did do that. Yes, I didn't manage to beat FNAF 2 1020 mode, I didn't do the extra challenges in FNAF 4, and I did exploit how the game works to beat FNAF 3, but I think it's safe to say that I am much better at these games than when I started. I beat 220 modes, survived 28 nights at Freddy's, and learned a lot about how these games work. So, I am still glad I took on this challenge. But also, I think I'm okay never playing FNAF 3 again. Anyways, that's all from me. I'll catch you on the flip side. Hi. Hi.